Hello, my name is Yasmina Allen. I'm Quality Control Testing Manager. You might have seen me before as I also run training courses. In this video, I will be describing the features of new Sir Galahad software, SGV3. This new SGV3 software has the same operation as previous Sir Galahad software, with additional features. First of all, it has automatic argon saving feature, which means that argon is not used when the instrument is not running a cycle. This is obviously very important to argon consumption, so the cost of the upgrade for the software will probably pay for itself just by cutting the cost on argon, especially if you are users like us that leave the instrument on all the time. On the results page, that is main operator screen where the user can view, save, print and analyze samples. The ribbon bar is at the top um, and the data can be exported in Excel or CSV. The advanced version of SGV3 includes the series mode feature which is used for sample analysis and reporting offline natural gas sampling using the PSA 10.547 pressure letdown system. This technique is compliant with ISO 6978 and ASTM 6350. What I like about this is that it calculates the results for you and generates the report with all the parameters included, which is much better and professional way of presenting the data. This will be demonstrated in a separate video. The results data has the same layout as previous software, but a lot more information, and the grid can be customized to your requirements and what you want to see. If you double click on the results row, you will be able to see full history report for the particular sample analyzed, including the method used. On the calibration page, as well as being able to calibrate manually, you have now an option to do the automatic calibration if the system is connected to sample mass flow controller and a PSA 10.536 calibration gas generator. Basically, you input the mass you would like to calibrate with and the software will run it for you. This will be also demonstrated in a separate video. You can now change calibration fit type from least square to quadratic type, which is very useful when dealing with samples that have high concentrations. The measurement mode can be changed from peak height to peak area, even after the calibration has been generated. On the service tab, um, if you click on the instrument, it opens the instrument control panel, allowing manual control of the Sir Galahad. Here you are able to see the optics box signal reading for each mode, including the reference and the emission, without having to remember the commands or going to PSA serve. You can then easily tune in the optics box if needed. You can also check if the trap 1 and 2 heats, as well as cooling the trap and firing the valves. You can also run a detector test, which provides information on the current status of the detector and the lamp in the Sir Galahad. The detector is operated at each gain and mode setting in turn and the background signal level recorded. The results are logged on the detector test results tab. We recommend performing a detector test at least once a month. The detector test data is especially useful to PSA service department when troubleshooting. If you click on spiking, it starts spike test sequence. This procedure is used to check the performance of the remote trap and the Sir Galahad remote trap analysis to validate the results obtained using remote mode. Spiking test takes you through step-by-step -step spiking procedure. Once you input the temperature and the amount of mercury in volume you would like to spike the trap with, it calculates the mass of mercury for you, and at the end it calculates the results for the spiking test in percentages, giving a pass or fail mark within the defined parameters already set in the software. 
Therefore, the operator error calculations are minimized. This will also be demonstrated in a separate video. Series Analysis tab stores detailed series analysis reports saved in PDF format when series mode used. If you double-click on the report file name, it will open the report that looks like this.